All right, guys, so the markets are just moving lovely, moving lovely. Bitcoin is holding nice, up 22% in the last seven days, but altcoins are going flying, flying. We've made some serious profit just in about the last week from some of the things we've been talking about. So we're going to discuss that. We're going to discuss Binance and Crypto.com both setting themselves up for a little bit more of a long-term thing. So clearly, they think we're going to make it out of this bear market. We're also going to be talking about Three Arrows Capital and a new exchange that they plan to set up, which seems a bit wild. <laughs> And also a little bit into Bitcoin, where I think it's going to go, what I'm doing with my altcoins and everything that you need to know to be fully up to date. With that said, guys, if you're not already subscribed to me, what are you doing? What are you doing? Just recently, just recently, a couple of days ago, I made a video about this coin, XTP, TAP. It's up 90% since that video. Yes, the market is going up. So you can blame it on the market. That's fair enough. But that's a significant gain. I also called this out in my Discord. My Patreon gives you access to my private Discord and we made significant profits, right? So if you want to come over and join that, of course, I talk there before I talk on the channel. The link is down there in my description. I would love for you guys to come and join. You can come chat to me directly there. But most importantly, guys, if you haven't already subscribed and you check out my channel every now and then, go and hit the subscribe button because not only XTP, I've also been talking to you guys over the last few months about Hate and me dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin miners. Hate is up 81% this month. Bitcoin is up significantly, right? The reason why I invest into miners is because I think that they show some really good upside potential, even more volatile than Bitcoin and can show way more upside than Bitcoin itself. Bitcoin up since that low of 28%. But if we go from the very low it was at, it is up, or let's go to the highest, 38%. Now, Hate up 81%. Now, because I was dollar cost averaging into Hate, and I did so very much when we were down there in the pits of the bear market, I've significantly benefited. I was also dollar cost averaging into CleanSpark, which is up 36%. So basically, the same as what Bitcoin is. And these are the opportunities that I do find in the market, and I try to bring you guys as quickly as possible. On top of that, we also talk about trades here with Bitcoin, and I did managed to make a trade here of 161%, which I told you guys about that I was getting involved here. And for full transparency, I actually closed it in these regions here because I didn't think we were going to go this far. Of course, on this channel, I want to be fully transparent with you. I don't want you guys to think that I have a crystal ball or anything like that. I just use my experience in this market to try and bring you as many opportunities as I possibly can. So with that said, smash up that subscribe button, smash it up right now. And let's jump over to coin market cap. We can see today up 1.4%, $990 billion. I really want us to recatch this $1 trillion market. And the reason why that is, is because I feel like at a $1 trillion market, it makes it more interesting for big institutions to want to start investing in this space again. I do think that a lot of them have left and that's why we are in the pits, the pits when it comes to prices. Now, with that said, of course, most coins are up significantly. Solana up 46%. I do, however, think Solana will have some sort of pullback coming here. This could have just been the last opportunity that has been given to Solana holders that were beaten down very much. I am one of those Solana holders. I, of course, took profits here on the channel in the bull market, so that really did protect my downside. But I do think that there is going to be more downside for Solana. I actually think that the overall market is going to have some downside from here. Reason, the reason for that being is that we are now in a neutral standpoint here for the fear and greed index. This is not what I like to see so quickly. I want a slow and steady climb upwards. Now, if we look at the chart, right, we could easily have a pullback down to these regions, these 18,900 regions. That would still be a very nice uptrend. Even down to this one at 17.9 would still give us an intact uptrend. If you are trading the short term, you can do it over on BitGet and get up to $10,000 of a deposit bonus. But don't go all in. Don't put yourself in a position where if we do have another rally, you're going to get liquidated. We could fly up to this 25,000 region. If we broke that, we could fly up this high. I don't think that's going to happen in the short term, but it could happen. So don't open yourself up to those sorts of vulnerabilities. You can trade the short term, but don't do it in a way that you can get liquidated. Stay as safe out there as you possibly can. Now, moving on from all of the good stuff, let's talk about a little bit of news. Not necessarily bad stuff, but Anthony Scaramucci says that Bitcoin could easily reach a hundred thousand dollars in two to three years now the reason why i brought this up is of course everyone has their big predictions
happens for Bitcoin and crypto and all of that. But let's just say in three years, Bitcoin does reach $100,000. And according to the history of Bitcoin's price action, that is very much possible. There are much, much higher price predictions than 100K. But let's say at some point between now and the next three years, it does reach 100K, right? We get into another bull market in, let's say, 2025, and we reach 100K, if not more. If you were buying between 10 and $20,000, which may now be the new bear market region that we had in 2018 to 2020 of 3000 to around $12,000. That could be the new region. And if your dollar cost averaging in that region and it eventually gets to $100,000, that's going to give you a minimum of a 5x from where you're buying it, which to me seems like an awesome return for three years, right? I know crypto has jaded a lot of people to believe that a 5x is pretty meh. That is incredible amounts of return. So that's what I'm planning to do. So that's why I wanted to talk about that. Now, moving on from that, like I said, we have crypto.com signing an eight year agreement to neutralize their direct carbon emissions. Now, I think it's more just a advertising play to get people to come to the exchange. But what it is, is them showing that they plan to be around for at least eight more years. So maybe there isn't as much worry around them as people did think about a month ago. Hopefully, crypto.com and the crow coin can start to make some recovery even more than we've already seen. Now, another exchange is Binance to let institutions store crypto with cold custody. So this is kind of different to what they've been doing before. And basically what this is, is a mirror service based on Binance custody and involves mirroring cold storage assets through one-to-one -one ca collateral held on the Binance account. So from what I understand, in institutions would put large sums of money on Binance, which would be one-to-one -one collateralized by Binance's cold storage, a separate cold storage wallet for each of these that the customer doesn't necessarily have access to, but it's collateralized one-to-one. -one. So if you move money into the Mirror account, it instantly get, gets collateralized, which is something that I would say probably a lot of institutions are looking for. So this could be another step, like what we spoke about earlier, to add more institutional interest back into the market. Now, still talking about exchanges, we have something very weird here. Three Arrows Capital founders raised $25 million for a new crypto exchange, GTX. Now, we're not going to go into that exchange. If you want me to check out the exchange and break it down for you, uh, I can do. But I just thought it was very interesting that they're now raising after Three Arrows Capital, after being one of the key players that counted towards the collapse in May, they're now going out and starting a new exchange. Now, the thing that's crazy, the thing that's most crazy about this is probably by the time we're in the next bull run, let's say it's mid-24, early 25, where everything's going crazy, the majority of the people in the market are going to be new. And that would leave an opening for something like GTX to actually work and for people to not realize that these guys were part of what collapsed crypto last time, which is wild. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down there in the comment section about this. Am I thinking Am I thinking into it too much? Let me know down there. And lastly, we have Russia partners with Iran to release a stable coin backed by gold. Interesting that Russia, who hates crypto apparently, is now partnering with Iran to release a stablecoin backed by gold. A stablecoin backed by gold is something very interesting to me. That's something that I think we need. I think that's an awesome thing to have as a stablecoin to be able to trade, as long as it's really collateralized and there's proof that it is. I'm not sure how you'd prove that amount of gold, maybe a picture of the vault or something that you can see personally. Maybe you could head down to the bank and check out the stablecoin vault of gold. Remember, if you do wanna come over and chat to me on Patreon, the link is down there in the description. All of the links to any of the exchanges that I use are also down there. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.